Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. In this video, let's talk about WYSIWYG software or applications. I get asked a lot about WYSIWYG solutions, whether or not um, is it good to use them? Should I use them? What are my thoughts on using them? Um, basically, for those of you who are new to web design, WYSIWYG is an acronym for what you see is what you get. It's basically any web design or application that allows you to build a website or design a website by dragging elements, putting elements on a screen, and then publishing that site or that page without the need to um, edit any HTML code. Okay, so Dreamweaver has a, a built-in WYSIWYG um, solution or component to its app. Um, there's a nice one out there called Webflow. It's a new a solution it's it's a WYSIWYG thing where you can design your site without the need for coding and things like that there's a nice one out there called coffee cup um, they, they build software and they have a nice web website solution there um, there's many other ones out there I don't really use them but I know of them I learned by I learned actually web design by using a WYSIWYG um, like front page and, and Netscape Compose way back in the day. So that's how I learned. I learned by using WYSIWYG solutions and I would like edit or view the code and then I learned how to code HTML that way. But basically, the short answer is yes. Using, um, designers often ask me, Mike, is it okay to, what are my thoughts on using WYSIWYG solutions? And the problem is, I get it because web designers think that using WYSIWYG solutions would be considered cheating, right? You're not a real web developer or web designer by using them. But here's the thing, in the short answer is yes, it's okay to use them. If you're in a freelance environment, you're building a site for a small business, um, for any purpose, or you know, if it's a small site and you feel the need to use a WYSIWYG solution or you have access to one and you like the, the feel of it and it's allowing you to build a site without frustrating yourself with code, more power to you definitely use it to your advantage okay I tell everyone that use it to your advantage now here is where you can get into trouble uh, one WYSIWYG solutions um, in a way limits your potential or your growth in terms of being a strong UI designer because when you rely on WYSIWYG solutions you don't really explore all the endless possibilities of what you can do um, in a full-fledged UI design sort of atmosphere, okay? Um, WYSIWYG solutions are basically, you're just, you're designing pretty much in a browser. And I think the, the web design process should always start on a canvas, whether it's Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks. You start there, fully, you know, design your website out page by page in those, in those apps and then slice those images out and then strategize how you're going to build those elements into a full-fledged website using HTML and CSS. So WYSIWYG solutions, when you're relying on WYSIWYG solutions, let's say you've been using them for years, you'll know that you're limited in what you know um, and what you can do by based on seeing what other people have done in terms of UI design. So it does limit you in that sense. Also too, if you've been relying on WYSIWYG solutions for a long time and you've been successful at it, if you're trying to get into the corporate world, full-time work, whether front-end web development work or UI designer, WYSIWYGs aren't used in the corporate environment, in agencies or startups or whatnot, okay? As a front-end developer, uh, for one, uh, you have to know how to hand code, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. For UI designers, you may not necessarily need to know how to code, but it's imperative and it's valuable for you to know basic HTML and CSS so that when you're when you are in an environment, in a corporate environment, you can use those skills to build prototypes and things like that. Okay? So in any corporate environment that I've been in, WYSIWYG solutions aren't used. So the fact that you may know how to use them and it may benefit you in the freelance world, it doesn't really benefit you in um, in the corporate world. All right, so that's my take on it. Yes, it is good for a freelance thing, but um, it can limit you 
in some cases. So use them to your advantage, but don't rely on them um, for the most part. As I always say, every UI designer should at least know basic HTML and CSS. Okay, obviously visual UI design is your number one skill, basic HTML and basic CSS is your other two skills that you should know at a minimum. Okay, because with basic HTML, with good visual UI design, basic HTML and basic CSS, you can take any CMS solution, uh, whether it's a WordPress site, Joomla site, an e-commerce solution, whether it's Shopify, Volusion, Magento, PrestaShop, anything, any pre-built CMS solution, and you can go into the back end without knowing any PHP code, without knowing any JavaScript, without knowing any 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 code, and build and edit the HTML components within those applications and customize those sites to your liking. That's how I've been doing my entire life. I don't know any JavaScript. Um, I'm very proficient in HTML and CSS. So I always tell people, just learn the basics of HTML and CSS, and that will allow you to design basic static websites and allow you to take that skill into the corporate environment and build working prototypes and customize other CMS solutions, you know, if you will. Um, but if you have the need and the desire to use WYSIWYG solutions to build a website, go for it, okay, if it benefits you. Go for it because there's no one there, there's no reason not to if you feel it's going to benefit you. Okay, yes, technically there's all this garbage code that gets added when you're using WYSIWYG, but guess what? No one really cares about that. The client doesn't care. Um, they just want the site to be built and that's all that matters. All right, that's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, if you're looking for and you're interested in more web design training, visit my website, mlwebco.com. Link is in the description. Also, if you enjoy this video and you're looking for more videos, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit my website, mlwebco.com. Check out the videos there. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.